In this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 upcoming games in July 2016. July is in the middle of the summer, which is typically a down period in terms of game releases, but there are still a few low-key games releasing that you might be excited about. With that being said, let's get right into this. Number 10, Song of the Deep. Song of the Deep is a Metroidvania-style game being developed by Insomniac. Yeah, for such a popular studio, this game has gotten a bit under the radar. Song of the Deep puts you into the shoes of a 12-year-old girl who crafts a submarine to search for her father who is a missing fisherman. As a Metroidvania game, it's a side-scroller, but it also has exploration and secrets where areas of the world are only accessible when you have certain equipment. There is combat in the game, but it's more focused on exploration and puzzle solving. Song of the Deep releases on July 12th for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Number 9, Necropolis. Necropolis is a third-person action RPG set in a labyrinth. You'll be able to manipulate parts of the world by solving puzzles. Combat does seem a bit simplistic, but it does seem a bit slower-paced and methodical. The art style is very unique, and the game does have a very good ambiance to it. Necropolis releases on July 12th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Number 8, Indigo Prophecy PS4. Quantic Dreams is well known for creating some of the most engaging stories of all time and one of their earlier games is headed to the PlayStation 4. Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy will be coming to the PS4 in July. While the visuals at this point probably aren't the most alluring thing in the world, expect the game to still offer an exhilarating plot. If you've never played Indigo Prophecy, you'll definitely want to keep your eyes on this. Be careful. I need you. Number 7, Ark Survival of the Fittest PS4. Ark Survival of the Fittest is not the full Ark experience that you may have been looking for. Rather, it's a game based on a mod for Ark Survival Evolved. This is a free-to-play multiplayer online survival arena supporting up to 72 players. Don't expect an incredibly polished experience, but for those wanting a survival game on consoles, this will be up your alley. It comes July 19th. Is you a dragon? Gone from an underdog to back on the top. Tribe eliminated... It's a guess, and he's going in for it. Number 6, We Happy Few. We Happy Few is a very interesting and unique psychological thriller horror game. The protagonist of the game works in government censoring, deleting unhappy stories from records. One day during work, he finds an article about his brother who was involved in a tragedy, spitting the main character to find out that the real world is much different than what was built up. So it's a very good setup to the game, and the objective is to escape the town of Wellington Wells by finding a hatchway that leads out. Every time you play the game, the layout of the map will be different. We Happy Few will be coming to Steam Early Access and Xbox Preview on July 26th. Number 5, I Am Setsuna. I Am Setsuna is a Japanese RPG being published by Square Enix and developed by their newest studio, Tokyo RPG Factory. The game's story is set in a snowy land and follows a mercenary and a maiden who must offer herself as a sacrifice. The design from gameplay to art in I Am Setsuna is very reminiscent of the earlier Final Fantasy games and older JRPGs in general. The story is expected to be very emotional, and this is a game that already released in Japan and it got pretty good reviews over there. I Am Setsuna releases on PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and PC on July 19th. Number 4, Inside. Inside is the latest game from indie studio Play Dead, whose last game was the very successful Limbo. Inside has a lot of resemblance to Limbo being a very dark and eerie game, and it's once again a puzzle platformer where you control a young boy. The game tells the story of a boy as he faces evil forces trying to take over the world. If Inside is even a fraction of the quality of Limbo, it'll be a great game. It releases on PC on July 7th. <laughs> Number 3, Monster Hunter Generations. Monster Hunter has become one of the premier series on the 3DS, and now we've got the latest game coming to the States. Monster Hunter Generations, known as Monster Hunter X in Japan. The game will follow the style of previous games, but will also include new additions such as new special moves known as hunting arts, new monsters, etc. At this point, if you're a Monster Hunter fan, you'll probably pick Generations up, and if not and you want a game that you can invest hundreds of hours into, 
This is not a bad option. Monster Hunter Generations released on July 15th. Number 2, The Banner Saga 2. The Banner Saga 2 will finally be arriving to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The game was released back in April on PC, but will only now be seeing its release on consoles. Banner Saga 2 is obviously the sequel to the original Banner Saga, which was a brilliant tactical RPG that excelled in art direction, gameplay, music, and storytelling. It's a mystery as to why Banner Saga isn't more popular. If you're a fan of RPGs, it's a must play. If you haven't played Banner Saga, go play the first game and then jump on the second game when it releases on July 26th. Your bow, your guile, the clans under your banner. These are your tools to stay alive. And finally, number one, Batman Return to Arkham. When Batman Arkham Asylum was released back in 2009, few were expecting it to develop into one of the best video game series of all time, but that's what happened. But now the first two games, Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, will be arriving on next generation consoles, with a visual facelift in the Batman Return to Arkham collection. Return to Arkham will also include all of the DLC and come to the market at $50. Batman Return to Arkham releases on July 29th. Are you gonna be a good boy and give up nicely? You cannot stop me. Soon I will command forces beyond your comprehension. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 upcoming games in July 2016. What do you think? Which games of July are you the most excited for? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.